It was obvious as roads split apart this week that Grindavik had to be evacuated. So we just came home to get some stuff. We have about five minutes to get their belongings and then we go to the next house. It's now a ghost town. 3,800 people and now there's no one living here from 3,800 to zero. They've discovered that Grindavik sits above a long subterranean intrusion of molten rock. And this intrusion now sits just below the Earth's surface, so a molten sheet of magma over a distance of 15 kilometers. Fissures have opened up all over town, but where's the lava? It is a land of ice above and fire below where residents have to be prepared. You can almost imagine the signs that might pop up only in Iceland with its unique geology. Iceland is a marvel where the planet's tectonic surface meets the molten interior. Two great forces. First, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge where the North American and Eurasian plates are pulling apart. Iceland straddles that ridge as it runs through the North Atlantic. The second force that has created this island of lava is a hot spot, one of the world's largest, a plume of magma from deep in the Earth's mantle now pushing underneath the Reykjanes Peninsula. And these forces are not always on the same timetable. Since 2021, the nearby Fagradalsfjallt volcano has regularly sent lava flowing. But right now, nothing visible. Sometimes this molten rock comes up to the surface, but these are separate processes. This is a rifting event. This is a plate motion event. And plate motions occurs in the fits and starts, and they jerk apart sometimes. There were more than 1,500 earthquakes just the last two days. Below, the magma is moving, but it's heavy and could remain up to a kilometer deep all the way to the ocean. I hope it starts out in the ocean. It would be great to get a new island and the entrance to the harbor will be better. Earthquakes and volcanoes together or separately, Icelanders never know exactly when. They just have to be ready. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.